everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog okay so in today's video I'm actually going to put Blair on an allowance yes you guys here we go round two I'm actually really really nervous okay so yes gonna to attempt to put Blair on allowance but actually it's a good timing because last night it was Friday night she came back from Daz we actually sat down together and for some reason like we had two Netflix accounts two like um, Hulu accounts to like Postmates accounts because I had opened up an account and then she opened up an account You know what I mean? So I was like, why am I paying double? It just doesn't make sense So we put all our accounts together I also told her do you have any extra apps that I'm paying for that you don't play on anymore or whatever You know because as you get older, you don't play some games or whatever So we actually worked on that and she talked to me about a business idea that she has in mind for herself um, And I was like, wow, that's great. Let me go ahead and I funded Nicolette's business until she ended up being on her own and being self-sufficient. So I'm like, it's now turn for me to fund your business, you know? So we talked about money, business, savings, like how to be smart. And you know why like this is important? And I did this with Nicolette, like kind of around this age, she gave me a lot of pushback. And I just, what I've always wanted for not just Blair, but both my girls is to be self-sufficient. Like I'm really proud of Nicolette. She pays for everything now for herself, you know? And I think I just pay for her cell phone. And I just want to set up, Blair's now 13 and a half, and I want to set her up to start thinking I have to be self-sufficient by 18. And what better way of getting her to stop like spending money on frivolous things? You know, she's not a kid anymore, she's a teenager. And start spending money on the right kind of things. Like open up a bank account for her, investment, savings, whatever it may be, you know? So that's my goal for Blair going forward. With that said, and we're talking about money, you guys know how much I love luxury 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 items and with these times it's like i'm not going to cartier and buying rings you know i've also learned to be a lot more frugal by the way with that said i want to thank italo jewelry for sponsoring this video this is actually my second time that i have the privilege to work with them i love their pieces so much last time that i reached out to them again and said let's work together again they sent me three beautiful new pieces one of the pieces that they sent me are these really really cute gorgeous gorgeous earrings i love them these are my new fave earrings and let me just show you guys how pretty they are look how gorgeous this earring is beautiful what I love about Italo is that it's luxurious, but at an affordable, affordable price. And these are so cute. And you know what I love about their earrings is that they're really lightweight. You know when you buy earrings and they're so heavy that you get a headache after an hour and that they make your ears droopy? These are so nice. Look, lightweight, gorgeous. And you can wear these, like I, I'm wearing this with this cute outfit. So it's a casual outfit and it just dolls it up a little bit. Or you can even wear it like when with a cocktail dress, on a date, just really sexy, really simple, really cute, really Nina. I always say, like, you don't need anything that fancy. Just put a nice belt, a nice jewelry, nice purse, and there's your outfit. That's Nina for you. All right, and some of the other pieces, you guys, that they sent me, this gorgeous ring. You guys, look at this gorgeous ring. Beautiful. I'm going to show you guys. And look at how beautiful this ring looks, you guys. You even have diamonds on the side. These are the rings they sent me before. Love, love, love them. I wear them all the time. And these are the earrings that I got from them last time. Both are really gorgeous. This is more of a dress up. The smaller ones are more like daily. And then last but not least, look at this gorgeous bracelet. I have to put it on to show you guys how beautiful it is. It's literally like my new fave. I can't even, it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at that. I'm gonna put it on. You can dress up any outfit by just putting on this bracelet, the ring, and of course, typical Nina style. I don't just do the bracelet or the ring, I do the earrings too. See, all three, look how gorgeous I look. They have excellent quality, they last for a long time, they do not look inexpensive at all. You would never believe the price point they're at. Don't forget to use my code GREAT20 for 20% off. I'm proud to say that I am working with Italo Jewelry and I'm so thankful that they sponsored this video. And you guys can go on their website, italojewelry.com. Look how gorgeous everything is. Beautiful. You go out there and buy yourself something really cute. You deserve it. Because self-care is also important. Self-love and self-care. Don't forget to have a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you don't absolutely love your product, let them know. No questions asked. I love you guys so much. And let's go talk to Blair. And I'm so nervous to talk to her about her allowance. Okay? Wanting maybe 50 grand on new teeth. Okay, we're buying veneers. Okay. I was gonna film something else, but I just don't think- Just do it. 
Okay, but first of all, let's start this video with we're having Invisalign problems, okay? Blair, talk to about your problems. She's very mad. Invisalign don't fit. They don't fit on me. They, they're not on correctly. I'm texting the and doctor. they're not working. They're making everything worse. Show them your gap. It got worse. No, I'm not going to show them my gap. Why? Because I don't want them to see it. Okay. You sure we should do this video now? Oh, oh. Okay, sit down, Claire. Why are you smiling? Here, I'm gonna send her a pic. Sit up. Okay, just sit down like a normal person. Why? I have to take a picture of your teeth for your doctor. Jeez. Okay, and send. And then take it off, let me show her the gap. So the gap is worse now. From what I think. Don't worry. anything in my teeth? No, just you have that little hook. Okay. What they hook? Don't, the what hook they thumb? put on. They don't sit on all right. the way. Right. Okay. And then let me send you a picture. The bottom sit on fine. Um, okay, so let me let her know. This is serious. Right? Issue. Look. Yeah, the bottoms. Oh, you're really improving on the bottoms. I just think they might have to give you new. Look, this one's crooked. Look at the second one. Yeah, you're number seven. It's crooked. Yeah. I need to see your Invisalign plan. Okay, Blair. So you know how last time we sat and talked about money? What? Yeah. Okay. So you know how we discussed like it's important for you to start your own business and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay. So you know how around this age I put Nicolette on an allowance? You're gonna put me on an allowance? I'm putting you on an allowance. I'm don't, definitely. Don't no. even spend that much money. She does. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I have my Amex bill. So I'm thinking $500 you get a month. Okay. If you don't spend it, just pile on. We open up an account for you. Every month I put $500 on the okay, card. But I'm not paying for my food. I'm not paying for my food. That's your job. Postmates was supposed to be included in that. Okay, let's negotiate. How much do you want a Postmates per month? I don't care, just as long as it's enough, or buy groceries. Okay, you can post me when there's no groceries or no food left for you. Fine. How about that? Fine. This is going a lot easier than I thought. I don't even post me that much. It's just post me it's expensive. I know. Because what I want to do, that extra money that you spend here and there, I want to put in an account for you, so you can buy your own place later. Okay. Sounds good? Okay. Why is she not fighting me? Are you going to write into Dr. Phil? No. Write to Oprah. She's not writing to anyone. I'm really hot. I, I don't want you putting I don't spend that much money. I don't think you realize that I don't spend that much money. It's true. She, like, this is Nicolette's spending. This is Blair's. Like, legit. All I spend money on is food. I don't shop that much. That's true. You Look, spend $40 I spend... <gasps> she has the evidence. No. 15 Oh, what? Brandy Melville, but... Fifteen dollars on what? But it was like twenty dollars of Brandy Melville and then twenty dollars of food. No, your Brandy Melville is like forty-one dollars. Oh, okay. Well, from wait. everything I buy, I get all the emails, and all of my emails are from Zillow. Oh, she's shopping for a house. You're gonna buy a house? Forget like a hundred dollars of Brandy Melville. The last thing I bought was toothpaste and toothbrushes. Okay, so I think I lost the battle in this one. <laughs> She has all the tea on me. If you ever want to know, she has everything. I don't spend that much money. I don't think you realize that compared to your other daughter. That's true. She's very right with that. I have, if my closet isn't filled with as many clothes as hers is. True. Yours is actually really empty. You want to show them? I know oh! people are going to say I sound greedy, but she's acting like I spend lots of money when I spend like $200 like once a month. No, you guys, it's actually really true. She's very conscientious with money. And sure, I spend lots of money on food, but that's essential. It's essential. It's an essential need. No, honestly though, Blair, you're like a really good kid. I'm I, humbled. I, I make Nicolette pay for Postmates on her own account because I don't want you to go broke by paying all the Postmates. Oh my God. God bless you. Thank God. Because she'll like Postmate a bowl of lettuce for like $150 and be like, I'm hungry Nicola two seconds later. you to Postmate on my account, but I'm humble and I make her do it on her account. Of course. She's 18. If she wants to like Postmate like bougie food, she needs to do it on her own. Thank you for that, sister. For that, you get unlimited Postmates. Yes. Okay. It's, 
And I don't have the receipts on Postmates because you made me switch my account to your account. We did all but of that last time. I haven't Postmated for like a month. Look See, how many times you Postmate from this one place. Every two seconds. She has her this. Receipt. Don't show the camera, but look at this. Look how constant. <laughs> she doesn't want to go and drive out and get it herself. No, Blair, she literally has been complaining about putting you on allowance since Palm Springs, and she goes, look at this, look at this Postmates I bill. It's her. all yours. I she said it's all her. yours, but it's all hers. I saved her $1,000 because she wanted a hotel at the Waldorf Astoria. No, 1500 1500 and I said no. For this weekend. I was going to just give us like a drop that, And I said no. I saved her $1,500. She did. She did. So I think that... The thing here is that you should put me on an allowance. I think that's what needs to happen. Let's go open up a bank account for you. Okay. You can open one up at 13 at my bank. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let's do that. Sounds good? Let's do that. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this agreement we've come to. The most thing... See, I negotiated with her. She renegotiated her negotiations. <laughs> the one thing I've spent money on is shoes. That's true. I'm a shoe addict and it's not my fault. Okay, you put me on allowance. Tell me how much I can spend. I wear no designer. This is like 20 bucks. This shirt, hand me down from one of Nicholas' friends. These pants got for my birthday probably like $40. And these from my grandmother. Free. Basically free. Okay, so what's my allowance? I don't know. Look, she's wearing jewelry. She's wearing a Gucci belt. These jeans are probably $100. Maybe $200. Jeans are expensive. This phone case I got for free from... Nicolette, somebody sent it to her. This phone, Nicolette bought it for me. Okay, hands down, you win this argument. No allowance, you can spend double. Okay, how about that? I'm going on my own allowance. Apparently, the American this Express This earring bill, she bought for me, but I don't have the other earring, so it's like What useless. happened to the other earring? Nicolette has it. Blair, she came over the other day, she threw all her stuff and took some of my stuff with it. That's how she does it. She comes in, throws stuff all over. I don't think she wanted it. I think I left it there. She sweeps everything up and that. takes it. Come if you look allowance. at my room, people are going to say I'm spoiled, but all I have is a room full of furniture. Cup. She really has nothing. She hands down won this battle. I know it looks like I have a lot, but it's really not a lot. Most of my clothes are hanging down from Nicolette Nixa fat. She gave me like two bags of clothes. Oh, I saw that. Thanks, Nikki, for that. Just we love your donations. And the furniture was essential unless you want me to sleep on the floor. No, no, I'm going, going to take the furniture away. Wondering, I'm now going to explain everything where it's from. This from my grandmother. This from my grandmother. This a gift from somebody. This is a Christmas tree. What? I don't even know where a it gift came from. from. A boyfriend? Not from mine, from hers. <laughs> He got you a Christmas tree? No, he got me <laughs> the diffuser. diffuser. It's like a bougie diffuser. I don't know who bought the tree. This, I need a nightstand. This, I bought two years ago, but I still use it. All of these, you insisted on buying them for me. This I insisted? I insisted? I don't yes. think so. Unless you want me to have allergies, I need this to No, we're cutting out her allergy fund. This is a flashlight from my grandmother. Most of my stuff is from my grandmother. <gasps> All of this, this whole drawer from my grandmother. This bed from my mother. This is from my mother. Most of this stuff is from my grandmother. Well, not really, but like, you know what I mean? It's not that much. This is all like two years old. The TV, not from my mother, from my grandmother, from my grandmother. Apparently, your grandmother's grandmother. raising you, and I'm not paying the bills. <laughs> I know it looks like I have a lot of clothes, but I wear half of them. I just have emotional attachment to most of them, so I don't get rid of them. But, I mean, these don't even fit me. They're too small. Um, I like your it's shield. It's not winter. It's what? not winter. The most... Oh. My supreme chair. Yes, this was $450 resale, but I did buy it. And that was a necessary buy. Necessary. It's gonna go up in value. It's the one thing I know about value. Blair is that the like, StockX tag still on it. <laughs> Not that that means anything. But Why did she have it out here? Because it doesn't fit there. It's just a nice, like, low key flex. Like, I'm not trying to flex on you, but it's there. It's a Look low key it. flex. Let me see it. Oh, Grandma wants it? Grandma wants here, it. Here, we're gonna go see her tomorrow. And yes, this is a $1,000 luggage, but it's from Nicolette, not from my mother. <gasps> Someone's upset with me. Because I'm trying to... S Most of the money I spend is by other people, not by my own mother.